Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel and today we're going to see how to calculate your age in Excel with uh, Excel formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it uh, right in front of you but you can download the file right below the video. I'm going to put the, the link where you can download it and uh, it's even better if I can do it right now. This way you can follow up with me with all the, all the files and the formulas. So um, so first of all, to calculate your age, you're going to need your date of, of birth or um, uh, or the date of birth of the person you, you want to know the age. Um, and so we're just going to write it down in here. So 1st of August 1956, for example. Um, and then we're going to need the date of today. Uh, and we're going to use the function today for that, which gives us uh, December 22nd, 2018. And uh, what's interesting is to see, uh, is to check a, bit, a little bit, uh, what's, what are these dates in Excel? So for example, here I get the, it's a date, so it's formatted as a date. But if I apply a general format, it's actually it's actually just a number. It's forty three thousand four hundred fifty six, which is actually a number of days. And why is that? Because in, uh, in Excel, dates are not stored as a, as a date. It's just stored as the number of days which have passed since uh, January first, nineteen zero zero. So, for example, if I write one, so what? For example, for day one. And I format it as a date, as a long date. It's gonna show that it's actually sun, Sunday, January first of nine, year nineteen hundred. And so every date, it's just the number of day which has passed uh, since that date. And so the cool thing is that now uh, to know the the difference between two dates, actually I can just subtract the the dates because they are just number. Uh, they are just number, uh, just a number of days. Okay, so I can do uh, mathematical operations between uh, between dates. So I'm gonna put this one back as a back as a date, and I can actually subtract these two. So December minus uh, minus fifty six, and I actually have the number of days between these two dates. So that's the first uh, thing you, uh, you can do. And that's actually interesting to, uh, to understand how our data are stored in Excel. Uh, but probably you're not interested uh, to, to get this, uh, this age as a number of days, uh, but rather maybe as a, um, as a number of years or years and months. For example, you wanna know, I mean, this is roughly 60 years. So maybe you wanna know this person is um, for example, 61 year and three months. So we're going to see another formula, which, uh, uh, which can uh, allow you to do this. And this is the function date diff, which is actually not, uh, it's, it's kind of hidden in, uh, in Excel date diff, uh, and you're going to select two dates and it's going to display the difference between these two dates. And you're going to be able to choose the format. So with the first date, second date, and then you're going to check the format. So if you want the difference in years, you're going to use the, uh, the format string Y for years. Okay. And here it's going to be 62 years. So we can do 62 years. If you want to know the difference in months, you can, we can compute the same thing with months months. Um, so we're going to use the same formula, but instead of specifying a Y for, for years, we're going to use M for months. So if I write the same formula with months, it's going to be uh, 700 months. Um, and one cool thing is there's another parameters to parameters we can use to know the remainder of months after all the years that have passed. So for example, here we can say it's a, it's a little bit more than 62 years. It's going to be 62 years and a few months. Uh, uh, 
August, September, October, November. So it should be about four months. So to know about these four rem remaining months, we can use the um, the the string ym for um, um, the months without the year, maybe. So I'm gonna use it like this ym, and it's gonna tell me that it's 62 years plus four months. So now I have a more accurate way to uh, to know the the age of that person or to know the duration that has passed uh, uh, between those two dates. So now I hope that you better understand how dates work in Excel and uh, you can download the file with all the formulas right below uh, the video and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for a new Excel tip. See you, ciao.